This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Wednesday, June 21st, 2017. Euro dollar. So the euro looks to be putting in some form of at least a short term top right now with the break below 111.10 to strengthen that outlook and accelerate declines towards a measured move objective which comes in around 109.25. At 109.25 the market could then be looking for a higher low in continuation of what has been a very clear uptrend in 2017 in favor of that next major upside extension towards next key resistance which comes in the 114 to 117 area. 113.67 is the next medium term level of resistance that's the 2016, the August 2016 high at 113.67. But once we get beyond there, we get into the 114 to 117 area, which is critical medium to longer term resistance for the euro. But again, if we break down below 111.10, it sets the stage at least for a minor pullback towards 109.25 before that uh, bullish trend that we're seeing this year considers a resumption. Only back below 108.40, that's the low going back to the 11th of May, right here. Uh, a break below there would negate and put the pressure back on the downside as it would uh, force a break of a confirmed higher low. So that would negate uh, the uptrend that we've seen thus far in 2017. So uh, let's wait and see how things play out here. But a break below 111.10 uh, sets the stage for a more significant correction in this uptrend right now um, and exposes 109.25. Sterling dollar. So cables break down below a recent support that was seen around the 126.35 area sets the stage for a measured move downside extension that could take us back towards 124.50. This is after the market had seen a bounce from the 126.35 area all the way up towards uh, 108, uh, 128.20, about 128.50 and 128.20. And so that move projected to the downside takes us down to the 24.50 area. But there should be some support in this area in favor of a higher low and resumption of gains ultimately back towards what could be a measured move extension all the way up at 135. This follows that break that we saw in April above that critical resistance at 127.75 that had capped gains since the market had based out by plus 30 year lows at 118.40 back in October of 2016. And we had since been trading in a range from October 2016 with 127.75 as the, as the top of that range. So the breakout does suggest that we're seeing the onset of some form of a major structural shift here, which, which doesn't do anything to compromise. The fact that we've traded back down lower does nothing to compromise uh, this potential shift in the structure and is, in fact is necessary. Often when you see these types of breakouts, the markets do pull back uh, to previous uh, support, uh, pre previous resistance areas, turn support uh, before pushing up. So um, as the market looks to base out, there's these choppy up and down moves. And so a move towards the 124.50 area would certainly not be um, anything that would be unwelcome even if the market is seeing a shift in the structure a bullish shift in the structure but at which point once we get down to 124.50 the market should then look uh, ideally to start to trade back up uh, towards eventually 135 uh, only a close below 123.60 that's the low uh, from the 10th of April would compromise this newly adopted constructive outlook for sterling dollar. But again, there is risk that we see following this breakdown that we uh, that we that we'd seen in, in Tuesday trade. There's risk for the market to now uh, extend those declines towards the 2450 area. Dollar yen. So dollar yen has seen a nice little bounce after the market stalled shy of the 2017 low right ahead of 108. Uh, but at the same time, the overall pressure here still remains on the downside despite this latest bounce. And the market has held initially below uh, 112.13, which was some some resistance that's in play going back to May 24th. Ultimately, though, it would take a break all the way back above 114.37 here to compromise the bearish outlook for dollar yen. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss uh, recently traded up towards but couldn't take out that critical psychological barrier at 110. And this keeps the overall pressure here on the downside. And the market could be poised for an acceleration to the downside uh, if it breaks back below some support around the 108 area, uh, which would take it de back down to uh, this important levels of support down around just ahead of 106. It would take a break back above 110 to force a meaningful shift in the structure and put the pressure on the top side. Until then, again, the pressure remains on the downside in Euro Swiss. 
Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar is traded up towards the 76 handle and just through the 76 handle. But as you can see here, the market hasn't been able to establish above that handle really over the past several sessions and could now be in the process of rolling over back towards uh, support that was seen in early May around 73.30. And a break there would accelerate declines further down towards the 70 area. Uh, only a, a close or a meaningful close above 76 would force a potential reconsideration of what should be a sort of bearish bias. Uh, and of course, the market has a lot of medium to longer term resistance up towards the 78 area. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has undergone a period of weakness over the past several days since the market really topped out by 2017 highs in early May, just shy of 138. But overall here, the trend continues to be quite constructive despite this pullback. And so the market should look to put in a form of a higher low around current levels ahead of a resumption of gains and to, uh, back through that 2017 high eventually uh, taking us up potentially to the 140 to 145 area. Only really a close here below 130 would compromise the constructive outlook. A recent breakdown that we saw back below 132.20 uh, had delayed the constructive outlook, but the market's doing a good job uh, overall holding up above 132, uh, which could uh, open that uh, uh, resumption of gains and the resumption of uh, longer term uptrend in dollar CAD. Kiwi dollar. So the New Zealand dollar uh, rally over the past several days has been more than impressive with the market rallying from 2017 lows that were set uh, back in May, just about one month ago at 68.18, uh, to all the way back towards the 2017 high, which sits at 73.76. But the market could very well start to stall out up here um, ahead of a resumption of declines as this uh, overall price action is quite choppy. Uh, a close below uh, the 70, 71.85 level uh, would uh, do a good job of strengthening that outlook and um, accelerating those declines. SPX 500. The S&P 500 is uh, in the process of rallying towards uh, what could be its next measured move extension at 2480. Again, we had seen a record high going back to March at 2400 before the market pulled back to 2320, but has since broken back above 2400 to fresh record highs following that 80 point consolidation between 24 and 2320. And that 80 point consolidation projected to the top side takes us up to that 24 80 measured move extension as a possibility. But the market, as far as the downside goes, would need to, at a minimum, break back below 2400 to uh, suggest that we're seeing some form of a minor top, while a break below 2320 uh, is that is that that's the key level to watch for a break uh, for a suggestion or an indication that the market is putting in a more meaningful structural shift, uh, a bearish structural shift. Gold. So gold has seen some setbacks over the past several sessions after the market had just put in squeaked out a 2017 high around the 1296 area. Uh, overall, the pressure though remains on the top side and, and setbacks are expected to be well supported uh, into the 1230 area certainly. And as you can see, the market's been making higher lows and higher highs over the past several months going back to 2016 really. Uh, and so the expectation is that the market will be supported here above this previous higher low, which came in around you know, 1214 uh, in favor of a resumption of gains through 1300, ultimately to challenge that 2016 peak at 1375 further up.